Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Terry with Train OD. Today we're going to do a killer core session, and I'm here with my good friend Jordan. Hi. And with Carrie. And we are going to work on your abs with this session. So we're going to start with the warm up. And we're going to be on our hands and knees, and these ladies are going to go through cat cow, which is a yoga pose to open the spine. It's a fluid yoga pose. So inhaling up, and then exhaling down. You could add a little elbow bend to this if you'd like. Today's workout is intermediate to advanced. And we say that because we've built cardio into the workout. So you can make it advanced in, in, by going a little bit harder in that high intensity section. Uh, and you can make it beginner by not doing the high intensity at all. So that's up to you, okay? Today we're gonna go all the way down this list, back up again, and then half back down. So if you're tracking and you want to write something down, that's what we're going to do. All right. So now we're going to go with some T-spine openers. So while you're on your hands and knees, ladies, you're going to touch your wrist and then open to your right up and to the ceiling and then back down. So you do it with a breath. So inhale and then exhale. Very good. Inhale, touch that wrist, exhale up. That's three. We're going for 10 on each side. Good work, good work, good work. Make sure you're breathing when you do this. All right, let's switch. So inhale, touch the wrist. Exhale, wide open. Try to keep the knees planted. You can tuck the toes or not. That's up to you. And follow that hand with your eyes. So you're looking, you're opening, using your neck to help open that, that uh, open the body up a little bit more. So the anterior front of your body, okay? Just get a couple more. Very good. So we're gonna come back up. We're gonna stand up. And we're going to do a little straddle stretch, which you've seen us do just about in every video. We're going to straddle out and we're going to go side to side. We're going to dynamically open up those adductors, warm up the hips. The hips are another thing that when they're tight, they add to lower back tightness and stiffness. And we don't want that, okay? So just a couple more. We're trying to keep, keep up. Just follow along with these ladies. If you're not counting, that's cool. That will happen through the duration of this video. Until we get to the timer, then we'll be timed. But once again, all you gotta do is follow. Follow the video. You don't have to worry about anything else, okay? Very good work, ladies. All right, let's square up, face the camera. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with standing side crunches and we're gonna alternate. So hands behind your head, just loosely. And you're gonna exhale and out to the side. Exhale, nice and dynamic. It's 20 total, or 10 on each side. Just depends on how you like to think about it. And just be careful as to not turn your body too much when you do these. A nice wide, a wide, nice and wide with the knee. Doing good, that's good. All right, to the floor now. You can do this on your forearms or you can do it on your hands. Modify as necessary. We're alternating side planks. It's a fan favorite around here. Yeah, we wanna roll the feet. So roll the feet and stack them. Carrie's modified her feet and she has them staggered. Jordan is stacking her feet as she twists, okay? Sometimes this works better with shoes on. We do like to work out barefoot around here. Your feet have muscles too. You gotta strengthen them. What better way to do that than in a workout? Right, Jordan? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jordan makes me feel like a like a child when I'm walking through gravel barefoot. She can do it better than me. I have them tender, soft city city boy feet. 
all pedicured and whatnot. No, I'm kidding. That's not me. So we're doing 20 of these total. If you're counting, you're doing 10 on each side. And they're almost done. And they both work their mats all the way up against the wall. So I'll let you readjust your mat. You're going to slide it forward. There you go. All right, laying on their back now. This is a, uh, a new one. Maybe you haven't seen this one before, but we call it the lying rope climb. Now, the rope is imaginary. So picture the rope right here. And you're going to climb that rope. So you're going to go one, two, three. And you're going to just keep reaching. And you're going to go for 20 once again. If you're going, how many is that per side? Because you're kind of doing a side crunch here. It's 10. We like, we like the side work here. Exhale, reach for that rope. Oh yeah, is it burning yet? Oh yeah. Yep. Good, I hope you guys are feeling it at home already in a good way. Spider-Man planks are next. So once again, forearms or on your hands in the, uh, the high push-up position. Whatever you do, just make sure you keep your spine or your top of your back round and your uh, lower back down just a hair. Your glutes are engaged. And you're walking it out for 20. So 10 on each side again. It's very, very good. Very good. Ah, fitness. All right, super work. Okay, now we're going to go to the side plank reach through. Um, these little guys, you have to kind of be on your forearm four, but if you wanted to modify it, you could do it up here, like so. I will say it's not much of a modification. In some ways, it's a little harder, so. Side plank reach through. So on your side, stack your feet, Carrie. Stack your feet, Jordan, good. Yep. And you're gonna reach through for 20. 20 is the magic number. So if you can find yourself falling out, like Carrie's doing, you can step a foot forward, or you can bend your bottom leg. There you go. That'll give you a little bit of support, a little more support. It's like a kickstand, really. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Doing good at home. If you need to take a break at any point, feel free to do so. Grab a sip of water, and then all you gotta do is hit play again. We'll be right here. Good, looking good. Keep it moving. You need to relax and on your back after this. That sounds like fun. Good job. Go ahead and lay down your back for me, please. So next is lying leg raises. And in this one, if you need support, make a little diamond on your lower back and it will really help your back uh, if it's uncomfortable. Otherwise, anywhere you wanna put your hands, do so. You're going for 20. Try to keep the legs as straight as you can. You're only gonna drop them down to about six to 10 inches off the ground. Yep, exhale up. We're going for 20. This one you can go as fast as you feel like you can go. Just breathe it out. Just make sure you exhale up. And if you, the faster you go and you're trying to match the movement to your breath, which we encourage, we do want the breath to set the pace. If that is happening and you're moving fast, you're going to find it to be more like cardio. Okay? So you can get more out of it if you time the breath correctly. And sometimes just surviving the reps is all, is all you can do, and that's fine. Getting it done. Looking good. Good work. Now we're going to windshield wipers. So arms out to the side. We're going to do it this one with bent knees. Uh, you can straighten your legs if you'd like, but we're going to stay bent on this set. So go ahead, side to side for me, ladies. So it'll be 20. We have the arms out as a counterbalance. What we're trying to not do is peel the other. So she goes. Jordan's going to her right, we're trying to make sure the left arm stays down. Okay, so you don't want to go so far as to where your knees hit the ground and then you peel up. 
All right, so you gotta control it, yeah, like that. I wanna prevent that. It's just a quick 20, 10 on each side. Your mat does a whole lot of moving when you do this stuff. Just walks everywhere, doesn't it, Jordan? <laughs> just getting closer and closer to me. Nice, all right, staying in this position, we're gonna pulse the wiper now. So we're gonna take the knees over to the right, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna come back to center. We're gonna stay in the right and we're gonna pulse it, okay? And it's just 20 quick pulses. Quick and painless, right? I don't know about painless. <laughs> They're smiling, I swear. They love this. <laughs> And then when you get done, immediately roll to the other side and knock it out. Doing it. It's good work. I like it. Almost there. Perfect. Now, one more thing before we start picking up the pace and doing some high intensity, and that's just crunches. So, we're gonna crunch, ladies. You can actually lay back down for me. That's fine if you wanna spin around, it doesn't matter. Um, we want the knees at a 90 degree angle. So actually, Jordan, why don't you spin just an angle so people at home can see. There we go, so that's perfect. So pick up your legs. We want that perfect 90 degree angle in the knee. Okay, and you wanna hold it. Support your head lightly and exhale to your knees but don't change the legs. You find it to be more difficult than it sounds. I mean, am I right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're answering me even though you're trying to breathe. <laughs> Talking is not conducive to breathing. Looking good, almost there. Pump it out. You get extra points if you point your toes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so this is the part where we go into high intensity. So if you need a quick pause to run to the restroom or to take a drink of water, do that right now. But we're going to get going. So ladies on your feet. This will be one continuous clock. So when I say go, we're going to go 30 seconds on, 45 seconds uh, with like an active rest. So we'll stay moving but we won't really stop. And we'll, I'll give a little bit of time on either side to get back into the high intensity interval, okay? So we're moving the mats in a little bit. And we're gonna start with mountain climbers and we're gonna try to do about 80% of our max effort. Are you ready? Let's go. Mountain climbers, clock's running. 30 seconds is the time on the clock. If you don't have a clock, don't fret, follow along. This bothers your arches because you're barefoot. As long as it's not a burning sensation, you're safe. If it burns, feels like, and it happens every time, go ahead and put your shoes on, it doesn't hurt. All right, up you go, you can rest. Deep breath. Breathe in real deep. Not so bad, right? One down. Sounds good. You're one out of eight, so we have seven more to go. So no need to forget the exercises because we're gonna go down for four, back up for four. So you'll be able to do all of these again. You get practice on both sides of it. <laughs> now we're almost there. We have 15 seconds. The next exercise is bicycle crunches. So go ahead and prepare yourselves, ladies, to the mat. On the bicycle crunch, we want to pedal big with the bicycle with the legs but we also want to move quickly. So on your mark, get set and pedal. Breathing it out, make sure you're breathing. Might make you a little dizzy if you're going too fast. Don't stop moving. Keep it going at home for me.
Three, two, one, and you're resting. That's very good. You can roll over, but you don't, don't come up yet. We're going to do a half burpee next, and that's the bottom half of the burpee, not the top half. <laughs> Jordan's really excited about burpee. So the half burpee is a little more ab, uh, ab central or centered. So we did there. It's double joke. Abs and center. <laughs> Woo! Killing it. You got about 15 seconds, and we're going to go half burpees. And we're going half burpees for how long? 30, 30. seconds. So the half burpee, try to control your jump. So try to control your landing. So when you're jumping out, try to land soft. You jump up front, try to land soft. Ready? Go. Very good. So quiet. I don't even hear the beast. Like ninjas. I know what you're thinking. What was that? 30 seconds sure feels like a minute. Three. <laughs> Two, one, excellent work. You can rest. Somehow now the rest feels like feels way more needed. Yeah? A little bit. A little bit. Feeling good. Breathing it out. The next one is a little bit more about your lower body. So jump in and jump out. Let me show you this way. So you're in with your legs and you jump out with your legs. So it's like if we mixed a jumping jack and a Squat, that's what it would look like. Okay? So we got a little more time. About 10 seconds. And then we're gonna hit this guy twice and we're gonna head back up the list. That's exciting. Yay. Yay! Yay! And go! Jump in, jump out. Seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. Walk it. Keep it moving. Don't stop. We got one more of those to do. I'd like to compliment you ladies on your shirts. They look really good. Thanks. Nice little Train OD logo. Hopefully soon you all at home will be able to pick up if you want of these shirts. Maybe we'll just take it off and send it to you. All sweaty. <laughs> and inspiring. Or perspiring. I was going to say. All right. You got jokes for days. All right. You got 10 seconds, and we're going to do that guy again. The dad jokes are just running rampant. Let's go. Jump in, jump out. 30 seconds. This is the part of the high intensity. Well, you're on number five, so the next two, five, six, uh, well, let's go five, six, and seven, so the next three, need to be your max effort. Give me all you got, and we'll survive the last one together. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Nice. Chilling it, relaxing it. We're going to be down on the ground for the half burpees next. I keep wanting to move your mat, but it's just a little OCD. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Jordan says, yeah, I'm aware. Uh, so we're about 20 seconds from going half burpee. We're going to go half burpee real hard, okay? So remember, now, six and seven, we want to up that effort, okay? So 90% to 100% of your max effort, as long as you don't pass out a puke. Are you ready? Half burpees ready, go. Doing good. Fifteen. Probably shouldn't have told you that. Nobody wants to hear that. We mean only halfway.
Woo, you can rest. Very good, rest, have a seat on the mat. Lay on your back for a second. Control that breath, try to inhale big, exhale big. Inhale big, exhale big, okay? So really bring that heart rate down. You have that control. As long as you get a big, deep breath in at those lungs. How long can you make that breath? Exhale. Doing good. Ten seconds. We're going bicycle crunches are next. It's the last max effort interval. But I need you to go hard. Hard as you can feel like going. Go. Hard as you feel like you can go with this exercise is what I'm trying to say. Not even sweating yet. It's more of a glisten, really. Ten seconds. Right that bike. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Into your last break. Before our last interval. Before we head back up the list. No. No. How are those abs feeling? Uh huh. I'm feeling good. <laughs> uh, correction, Jordan, it's just a little sweaty. <laughs> oh, we got about 20 seconds. The next thing is the mountain climbers. So make your way. All right, are you ready? Five. And we're going mountain climber and go. Running in and out. Doing so good, aren't they? 10 seconds. I hope you're making it at home. It's the last interval. After this, you can get a drink of water. You can catch your breath and pause the video. Three, two, one, and stop. Ladies, back on your backs for me. Let's catch your breath. Jordan, I'm gonna move your mat just a little bit. There you go, give me some more room. All right, on your backs, catch that breath. Good job. Good job at home. I know that's the toughest part of this workout is that high intensity. When you're ready, you've got your breath, we're gonna go back to the list. This time, less instruction, more just go. Okay, so we're gonna go back up and right back down. So it's 20 crunches, go. Remember the feet are at a 90 degree, sorry, the feet, the knees are at a 90 degree angle. The legs don't move. You're crunching to your knees and you're not bringing your knees to your, to your arms. And you're exhaling and you're pumping it out. Now if your breath is, your heart rate's a little higher, you can move a little faster. Instead of trying to warm it up to get that, that cardio moving, we've got it moving now. So we can maximize on that heart rate and truck through this list. All right, wiper pulses. Hands to the side, let your legs fall to the right, and you're gonna pulse. 20 quick ones, or to the left. <laughs> I did do that though, didn't I? Pulsing it. Doing good, it's a weird one, I know. Never make it any one direction. You just you don't make it back to center to rest. So you're, you're holding it there. So if you feel back discomfort, then modify accordingly by not even going this far. If you want to make it harder, you can straighten your legs. Good, good, good. This is windshield wiper, so we're just going to go back and forth with those legs. Just get right after it. Yep, as far as you feel like you can go. You got it. This is the one where you're going to end up at the wall. You're going to walk across the floor on your back. And remember, the key here is to not let the arms come up. So control the hips by anchoring the hands down, okay? This is a good one for continuing to open up that middle back, that thoracic spine. Well, 
for 20. Almost done, yeah? Good. So moving right into the leg raises. Straight leg raises, hands underneath your lower back if you need to, and exhale up, go. Keep it moving. Yes, it burns so good, doesn't it? Just fighting through it. Remember, you can always break if you need to. I'm not letting them take a break, but you can break at home if you need to. <laughs> Doing good, guys. And then from here, we're going side plank reach throughs. Also 20 on each side. Reach through. This one's a break, really. <laughs> Equally not funny. So you're on your side. Let me go to your side, right side. And I'm just gonna reach through the hole and then open straight back up, okay? No falling. No falling allowed. So again, if you're feeling extra wobbly, like you can't really complete the motion, bend the bottom leg in this motion. So for carry, it's the left leg. You're like, boy, this left leg down, I can do, but I don't feel it. And then raise to the top leg and anchor yourself on that bottom leg. I'll show you when she rolls over. Roll over on your right side, bend your right knee. Yep. Now bring your left leg up. Now reach through. Feel that? You can make it a little bit harder, you can put it back down. So you'll be stable but you also get a little bit more of a twist. So that will work deeper into the obliques and into the lower back. Good, and from this guy, we're going Spider-Man plank. So 20, so it's 10 on each side, walk it out. to the outside here. There you go. I've got them all dazed and confused. Right? Yep. <laughs> Killing it. Doing such a great job. Spider-Man's to the rope climbs. You're next. You're on your back. Grab the rope. And up you go. Grab the rope. <laughs> you see it somewhere. So good. Rope climbs and then alternating side planks. So rolling around. Going for it. Going for 20. Almost to the top. Yep. And then rock right through. Transfer. Let the feet. Try to keep the feet stacked if possible. Staggered if they must. You go forearms and you go up on your hands on this one. And just watch that over rotation. You really can't go super fast with this one, right? <laughs> Would you do that for me? Yeah. Show everybody at home. Yeah, over rotation means you uh, you just end up sitting down on your butt. So try to keep those hips high. Yep, doing good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, almost there. We're gonna stand up after this one, and we're gonna go back to our standing side crunches. It's the one that everyone feels weird doing, but it feels good to do it. Okay, so we're back up here, out to the side. Tuck a little, raise a little. Okay? Doing 20, 10 each side. Whenever you're ready. Good work, good work. All right, so you're gonna catch your breath for a minute, and we're gonna go back down through the strength part of this workout, not the cardio part. part. And when we do, we're gonna cut it in half. So we're gonna take 20s to 10s, all right? That's, that's great news, right? 
Fantastic. Everybody loves that. That that moves you faster through the list, and then we're going to roll into stretching straight out of that. So, when you're ready, start back where you just finished, and that's at the side crunches, standing side crunches, ready for 10. So just doing a quick five on each side. So the word for this style of hitting, hitting the reps again and again and again, three times typically, is hypertrophy. So we're, move, we're trying to work the muscle to failure, which is actually kind of hard to do with your core because it is many layers and it is, your core is your whole trunk. So there's a lot of muscles to fatigue out completely. So we won't fully get there. But make no mistake, today is Thursday. These ladies are going to feel this through Sunday in the best way possible, like a girdle. All right, rope climb. Climb that rope for 10. Look at her go. All the way up the rope. Ring the bell. Wham. <laughs> Good. Leg raises. Oh, my, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spider-Man planks. I got excited. Skipped ahead on my workout. Spider Man planks, then we go side plank, reach through. Side plank, reach through for me. Yeah. Doing it. Really doing it. Just 10, then we roll to the side. Then we go leg races. Very good. Straight leg raises for 10. Exhale the legs up. Support the back if necessary. Not everybody needs the back support, so use it if you need it. Breathe it out. Very good. And then from here, we're going wipers and then pulses. So arms out to the side, and let's just go back and forth, five on each side. And we're pulsing. You realize how much momentum you use with the windshield wiper when you stop to do the pulse. It's like you're letting those, it, it happens to all of us, you tend to let the legs fall. Doing good, almost there. Next thing is crunches. Knees at 90 degrees, hold the legs still. Crunch up, exhale, support your head so that your neck doesn't get an extra workout. Then, you are done. Yes! Victory! Good, so we're gonna roll you right over, we're gonna stretch this right out, okay? So, we're gonna roll over on our stomachs and we're gonna go into a cobra stretch, or up dog. So, let's actually start with the cobra. So, forearms down, Yep, and just look up. There you go. Feel that? Breathe, squeeze your butt, press your hips down. Very good. We're going to try to get 30 to 45 seconds. You're going to hear me say that over and over again. It's the best way to let the muscles relax is to put a little time in there. Breathe it out. You can go more restorative by staying in a pose for up to two minutes. That actually is pretty life changing when you can do it. Okay, ladies, let's press up onto our hands into your upward facing dog. So there you go. So th this one is, you keep the lower body grounded. You don't have to pick the lower body up. We're trying to feel that stretch from the chin to the navel. So if you don't feel that, so just lean in there a little more, squeeze the shoulder blades back, open that chest and top part of your core up.
Very good. Let's hop back on your knees for me. And once you're on your knees, I want you to actually uh, relax your feet for me. You're tucked in your toes. I appreciate that. There you go. I want you to reach one arm up. Take your left hand and try to put it back behind your feet. And then put that other, your right hand down on your left knee. There you go. And then we're going to really twist. Look back at the wall for me. Feel that? Mm -hmm. and breathe and be right there. Breathe, nice tall posture. Stand there, don't let go. As soon as I let go, I thought you turned the whip back. The dim muscles are tight. So we gotta breathe it out. Good, now let's switch it up. So left arm up to the sky, right arm, kind of anchor it back by your feet. And then switch down there, grab that left thigh. Breathe real big. Feel that? Breathe, breathe, breathe. There we go. Deep breath. Good work. All right, ladies, let's roll into a pigeon pose. Kira will show us how. There we go. And just go ahead and walk your hands down to your forearms for me. This is the last stretch we're going to do. We're going to spend 30 seconds on the right and about 30 on the left. So here is my time to tell you that you are doing excellent. You're doing really, really good. I hope you're teaming this, this uh, fitness series up with one of the meal plans. Uh, if you haven't, if you've not experienced that, the difference in our meal plans as opposed to uh, other meal plans that may be available to you, we encourage you to do so. It's real food, it's nutrient dense. It is food that will change your lifestyle and your way of thinking and that is what we wanna do. We don't want to make you dependent on any calorie counting or uh, counting your, uh, your carbs or counting your proteins. We want you to be more complete in your thinking, okay? So, ladies, you can switch. There are also meal plans that are specifically geared towards detoxification and elimination so it's uh, if you already eat pretty healthy and you feel like you're in pretty good shape uh, changing up your your food can really help the body restore itself from the inside out so freeing up stress on the body freeing up your digestive tract is what some of these elimination diets and detoxing diets will do so make sure you head over there to the website click on the links and uh, check out the meal plans. All right, ladies, that was good work. You did really, really good. I'm proud of you. And for Trainer D, I'm Terry. This is Jordan. Carrie, we'll see you again soon.